Hi, I'm Steve from Aspire Agile and this is the Agile Gardener. This is a follow-on for my Estimating in Scrum There Must Be a Better Way video on screen now, so check that out if you haven't already. In this video, I show you how to forecast accurately using Excel to run Monte Carlo simulation, so keep watching to find out why you'd want to do that instead of using pseudo metrics from tools like Jira and all the others. I'm sure you've been in this situation many times where you've been asked, when will my work be done? Or when will you be able to deliver my project? I don't know about you, but in the early part of my career, I often reacted to this with a feeling of dread, <laughs> providing an estimate or offering a hearty mouth response of best guess or gut feeling. Whatever our response, how certain are we it can be achieved? Today, I want to show you a better way of answering this question and provide a way of ending fixed time, fixed scope work from constantly landing on us. I think we often feel that leadership have unrealistic expectations or set impossible targets, but actually, in my experience, it's not really been true. We need to be able to provide a level of certainty about when we can deliver and take responsibility for it. Okay, so how much certainty should we provide? I'm gonna say 85% and I'm gonna show you how. A core part of being agile is transparency, inspection and adaptation. But we can't adapt if we don't have the data, knowledge or information to inspect in the first place. One way to do this is to use a visual tool effectively, such as Jira or any one of the others out there. These tools can provide us with the data we need to inspect. As we move our stories from the backlog across the board, the tool tracks how long this takes automatically in the background. The time taken for a story to travel between any two points, for example, to do and done, is called cycle time. Using cycle time, we can calculate the amount of time historically it has taken us to get a single story done. It doesn't matter that our stories are of different sizes. I'm going to say that again because it's really important. It doesn't matter that our stories are of different sizes. But we don't want to use averages, but instead a high probability or certainty that we can actually use, and that's the 85%. The data we want is the elapsed time between the two points in our workflow that we're interested in. For example, it might be to do, which we'll call our start date, which is the date we actually started work on a story, and done, which we'll call our end date, the date we actually completed that story. Now, if you're using Jira, you might want to check out my video explaining how to get the data out of Jira, which should be on screen now, because you can't do it natively. So let's take a look. We'll extract the data and subtract the start date from the end date for each line and add one day. That extra day is because we count every day, even partial days in our total. This tells us the cycle time for each individual story completed. Now we'll use the Excel function percentile on the cycle time data and find our 85th percentile. This tells us how long it takes to complete a single story regardless of size, 85% of the time, historically. But we can't use this alone to forecast when a large piece of work will be done. However, using Monte Carlo simulation, we can, as that will allow us to forecast for multiple items. And we can do this fairly easily in Excel, and I'll show you exactly how in a moment. Remember Shakespeare's The Tempest, What's Past is Prologue, meaning history sets a context for the future. Well, so too it is with forecasts. The first step is to start collecting the data. Without that, we've got nothing to inspect with. Then refine your ways of working, adapt, so that the data is representative. Now this is a very important caveat to using this technique, so please watch to the end as we'll cover this later. Right, back to our single story cycle time, 85th percentile. If this value is high, such as 15 days, then I'd suggest you need to refine your ways of working further before you go on to the next step. A good 85% value, in my experience, would be something in and around five days, but certainly no higher than 10. Once we have our cycle time under control, then we're in better shape to move on to using Monte Carlo simulation to forecast. Okay, so now let's take a look at Monte Carlo simulation. We can reuse some of the data we've already collected, but we won't need the start date or cycle time data. We only need the end date, which was our done status in our workflow, and the total number of items completed on that date. In this example of Monte Carlo simulation, we're going to forecast how long it takes to get 10 stories done. We'll put our dates into Excel into column A. If the first date was the 1st of May and the last date was the 30th of June, then we'll list out every date consecutively between those dates whether or not an item was completed. In column B, we'll put how many items were completed on that date. If none were completed, we will put a zero. The dates we put into column A are historical, but let's imagine we're gonna start our 10 stories in a month's time. And let's also imagine that that date will be the 1st of August. So replace your first date in column A with the 1st of August and change all the other subsequent dates so that your last date is the 30th of September. But leaving column B, the number of items completed on a date alone. 
And this is so that after the simulation is complete, you'll be able to see on what date 10 items were completed if you started work on the 1st of August. We're going to add a third column, column C. This will be a random number chosen from column B. The formula for this is on screen now. We'll copy this formula all the way down so it's the same length as columns A and B. We're going to create another column, D. This column is used to show how many items are left to complete and once it reaches zero, it will allow us, using another formula, to select the corresponding date at which 10 items were completed. Now, we need a formula to put all of this together, which is on screen now. This formula uses column D in order to select the date in column A, which is the date by which 10 items will be completed. We need to run this many times in order to build a good forecast, at least a thousand times, but preferably 10,000 times, and capture each date when 10 items were completed. In order to do this, I have a macro that runs it for me. And if you'd like to know how to create this macro, the video for this should be on screen now. So I'll click the run macro button and off it goes. I'm using an M1 Mac Mini and it takes around three minutes to run the macro for 10,000 runs. Okay, it's done now. And you can see it's returned all of the dates we need into sheet two. I use a pivot table in sheet three to view only the unique dates returned together with how many times they appeared, which you can see here now. Then we can turn the number of times a date was returned into a percentage and then simply select which probability we want to use to understand how long it takes to get 10 items done. I'll use 85% and as we can see, 10 items will be done on the 2nd of September, which is 32 days if we started on the 1st of August. By using this technique, you can build up a set of t-shirt sized pieces of work and provide this to leadership so they understand how long it takes to deliver, which will significantly help planning and roadmaps and will also put an end to fixed time, fixed scope work. It also means you don't need to spend time assigning story points and having endless estimation sessions. All you need to do is understand your 85th percentile cycle time, let's say that's eight days, and make sure that you right size all stories not to exceed eight days and over time try to reduce that. An example of your t-shirt sized pieces of work might look something like this. Small might be 100 stories completing in three months, medium 200 stories completing in five months and large 300 stories completing in seven months all with our 85% probability of it actually happening. So there is a way of answering the perennial question when will I get my work with certainty and not only will we feel better and more confident, we'll help our teams to reduce stress and fatigue, as well as increasing well-being, and we'll be able to provide leadership with more accurate delivery forecasts. Now, I mentioned earlier that there are some very important caveats to this technique, but before I go through that, if you're getting any value from this, please consider liking and subscribing if you haven't already. Right, the caveats. They are having and using a prioritized backlog, having our work appropriately broken down and refined based on our 85th percentile story cycle time. So if that number is eight days, we know that eight days is the largest story we can take. And I've got a link to a video on how to create your backlog and break work down in the description below. Understanding what done means. So using a definition of done properly, and I've got a link to the video on that also in the description. Everyone on the team taking ownership of their work and collectively being accountable. If one fails, we all fail, so support each other. Everyone moving their stories across the board at the right time, because this is where we get our data from. And embracing agile and lean values and principles, but really just work on the basics, collaborate, deliver, reflect and improve. It takes time and practice, but it can be done. A great book on this subject is When Will It Be Done by Daniel Espicanti. Highly recommend reading this book. It provides many insights, deep explanations and how-to tips and tricks. Oh, and if I ever reach a thousand subscribers, I'll provide a free Monte Carlo simulation Excel template in the link below this video. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and plan to try and use this technique. Please let me know how you get on and if I can help, I will. That's it for this one. I'll see you next time.